So it's really cold today and uh, it's getting late and the fish aren't biting. So um, maybe I have enough time to do a little casting video um, for people who are new to Euro nymphing. It can be a little bit challenging at first. So, uh, so let's, let's try it. I've got my 10 foot, six inch uh, Euro nymph rod. I've got a little um, bead head fly on there and my stinger comp line holder. So let's see. So the first cast I wanna, I wanna do when I first step into the water is just a little flick cast. So I'm gonna pull some line out. I'm just gonna fish the water in front of me just in case there's a fish there. Give that a few drifts. And you can see that that small 2.8 millimeter bead is enough to load my rod. And I can flick that thing pretty accurately within 20, 25 feet radius of me. But let's say that I want to cast farther. Say I want to cast above those rocks over there. I'm going to need a little bit more uh, preload in my rod. So I'll water load it. Water loading just means that I'm going to cast it down, pre-cast it downstream. I'm going to cast it straight up. So again, 180 degrees downstream and my target is straight up there. Now I can drift it down. If I don't want to wait for the drift, I can just throw it downstream. So that's something to use a lot. Let me show it from this side. So my fly's downstream and my target's upstream. It's grabbing my fly and helping me preload. So you can see that it's, I'm getting a little bit more bend out of my rod. Now let's say I wanna go even farther than my target. I wanna go up another five or 10 feet. I'm gonna need a little bit more the, load, the water load. So I'm going to give it a haul. And by hauling it at the, at the end of my cast, I'm putting a little bit more load in my rod to get my fly out a little bit further. The rest of my cast looks the same. I'm flicking it about just as hard as I am without the haul, but giving it a little haul with my left hand Gives me an extra five or seven feet. Maybe I can show you what, uh, what's really going on in a haul. Okay, so when I'm water loading the cast and loading with the weight of my fly, my rod is gonna bend like this, but when I haul it, see what's happening, is it's bending my rod even more. And that extra bend is extra energy. It's gonna take my fly a little bit farther. So that's what hauling does. This is what it looks like from the back. This is a regular water load cast. And then this is a haul. Let's say that my target is behind that big boulder over there, perpendicular to the flow of the river. So, and I don't really have room in back of me to do a 180 degree precast back there because of all the trees. So I'm gonna go ahead and water load it, let my fly downstream. I can even cast it downstream. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 
I'm going to pluck my fly out of the water. I'm going to rotate it around. And right when it gets in the right spot in the air, I'm going to shoot it down to my target. So again, my fly starts downstream. I pluck it out of the water. I let it rotate it around and I shoot it down. And it doesn't have to be straight down there and I can pluck it out anywhere. The main thing is I'm letting it rotate it around. I'm not letting it go all the way back. So the rotation even can be a small rotation and as I throw it, I can let the line glide through my fingers and shoot out farther. A lot of times the big fish hang out in front of the boulders. So if I'm going to fish in front of a boulder, like in front of that one right there, I'm going to make sure that I pluck it out of there because I can see there's a stick right in front of it. I'm going to pluck it out of there before it hits it. So I'm going to get it right in the pocket, let it drift, keep, keep it fairly tight and then pull it out. And throw my fly downstream and then I'm kind of set up to do it again. Sometimes you need to shoot a fly into a tight spot because you don't have a lot of vertical clearance. You've got some branches or some trees and you need to shoot it in there really low and fast. So to get a low trajectory, you can use some of those techniques like uh, hauling it and keep that fly low and straight. So there's a pocket right by the camera and there's a rock that the camera's sitting on so I don't want to hit that rock. I want to get it right in there, pluck it out of there. If I need to go even lower or straighter, I'll haul it. So even though it's a short cast, I can use power to get it in there really straight and accurate. That's the key to Euronym casting, for me anyway. <laughs>